Hey everybody, my name is Mars. Today we're going to be going over a comment that I had where he was asking how Faceless could be better than Dolan and how an orange hero could be better than a gold one. Alright, let's dig into Danny's question. The first thing I want to go over is the difference between a gold hero and an orange hero. The biggest difference is the skill books. The skill books are going to be different with a gold hero than an orange. You got about a 48% attack buff here, but if we go and look at the orange hero, faceless, you get a 40. So that's a little under a 8% difference. So when we talk about the difference between Gideon and faceless, we're going to look at Dolan here. He has a 49% uh, increase from his skill books. And Faceless is going to have, what did we see? A 40. So um, 41%. So we're looking at, you know, an 8% difference there. So all told, the, the skill difference will be somewhere around 24%. So what does Dolan do? Dolan gives you increased troop attack by 41%. Okay? So we're going to compare that to Faceless. Now Faceless has a 47% 47.8% uh, increase in infantry attack and HP. So we're looking at a 8, a 6% difference, but you have HP with Faceless. You do not have the HP with Dolan, and HP is a huge determining factor of how a battle goes. So not only do you get the attack and the HP, through the faceless but it's going to the troop type that most players use we're in a infantry meta right now and so this is going to be a lot more useful because you have both the hp and the and the attack and the skill book difference so we're looking at a 24 percent difference all right, well, you have an extra 47% HP on this. So you cut that maybe in half if you include books difference. So it's it's not going to it's not going to make the difference between having a gold hero and having a hero that is better for your strategy. Yes, faceless is a little more linear because it only works for infantry. But if you're already an infantry player, you don't need really to have outside stats gaining on other troops. Now, if we're going to run a mixed dispatch, sure, Dolan may in some circumstances be better. But then we're looking at other, tr uh, other heroes that could increase that particular troop type or, you know, other heroes that may be a spending hero but could be really good maybe like Shinjin. Shinjin is you know you're gonna have a decrease in attack but you're getting all those and you're getting the defense. The reason why Dolan is good and players use them is be purely because they're a gold hero and it's free to get. You can obtain it without spending. And that's really good to have, and you can actually be somewhat competitive with a Dolan. You're not going to be top tier player with Dolan. That's never the case. the the top The top heroes, you know, Bij, Jansen, Gideon, uh, Arata, Arita, or whatever her name is. Like all those heroes, they're always going to outdo a Dolan. But it does let you play with multiple troop types. Faceless is really good and has your power behind it because you have the attack and the HP and you have a really high increase in stats. 
Now the problem with Faceless is he's very hard to obtain, it takes a lot of money. But the skill difference and the fact that you get an extra HP on top of the Faceless is why Faceless is considered so much better than Dolan. Just because a hero is gold does not mean that they're better. So when it comes to having him for any kind of any kind of infantry uh, matchup, you're going to want to have the Faceless Knight. Now, obviously, if you have a Faceless Knight at 80 and you have a Dolan at 120, you would use Dolan uh, and vice versa. But that is exactly why uh, players are using Faceless and saying Faceless is better than Dolan. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it was very informative. And uh, please, please comment and ask more questions. I will try and make videos for them if I feel like that's something that I can answer and put out into a video. Uh, really happy to be back making more videos more often. I enjoy doing it. I, I do this purely for myself and to uh, help other players learn so that we can all play at a higher level. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys want me to feel good, throw a like. If you want to watch future videos, give me uh, a sub and uh, I'll catch you guys later.